welcome to backyard woodworking. I got a air hose in my shop that I use a short one for <clears throat> excuse me, blowing the dust off of stuff and uh, for my brad nail, etc. You know, fill up the wheelbarrow tire. Piece of pine I got out of the scrap bit. What I did it was about 16. I cut it off. This is measuring. Oh, nine inches. I got a piece uh, of about three and a half and a piece about a little over three, three and an eighth. What I'm going to do is take this piece here and I'm going to screw it to here and glue it and this piece here and that's going to make me a little hanger bracket. Now I can put this down here actually, probably be a little bit better for my use. I'm going to stick it down there. And I'm going to glue it and screw it. And this is going to be, and then I can take this whole assembly, screw it to a stud on the wall, and I got something to hang my hose on. Just something simple. Now, the beauty of making something like this is this here, Craig Jake. I, I really like it. I've had it now for a few years. It does the job. Now, the jig comes with uh, a bit you're going to need. It's a step bit. For people that don't know anything about Craig Jigs, it's a pocket hole jig. Now this is their older model, this is the four. They got a five out now with all kinds of extra things. I have no idea what that one costs. And I bought the master set. It came with a clamp. And here I got all kinds of accessories, a movable base and all that I can clamp anywhere. And uh, it's it's a good thing. It even has dust collection if you want to use that. Well, what I got to do is now I'm going to take this piece here, this short little piece, and this has got to go here. And I'm going to screw that like this to this. So I'm going to put the piece in here in my jig. And I'll adjust the camera for you so you can see what's happening here. Like I was saying, take this piece here, I'm going to put this and screw this to here like that. Then this piece here is going to get screwed down like that. Or I can go this way. It, it ha I haven't decided yet, but I think it'll go down this way. It's a lot easier for me to do like that. So I'm going to take this piece here, center it in the jig. I always just try to do it that way. Now, if you're going to use these two holes, I might just use these two here. The A and the B hole. And that's about right there. Now, that's pretty good. Take your bit. And I'm going to make sure that you're um, jig is tight to the wood. Now, I got this. I'm going to take this and screw this to the base. Now, I think I'll, I'll go this away. I got a line here. What I'm going to do is take a little glue. Now, we're screwing end grain here, so clean them holes out a little bit. And I'm going to screw this down like this. Now I could just take my brad nailer and whack a couple of brads on that piece there. I want to get this done too, this piece. But I want I could just take a couple of brads in it. Now but I have this clamp here. It does work now and then for the right right there like that. Now I just take this piece here and I gotta move it to my line here. It's hard to see with all that darn glue I stuck on there, but I'm just going to move that up like that. You can take a square and say, yeah, that's pretty square. Uh, take a screw, take my bit out here, take a Craig screw, 
Now these are inch and a quarter because I'm using three quarter material. That's the size. That's tight. You don't want to go and strip your screws out. Take your clamp off. And check it for square again. Now I might have moved it because this is this is kind of a harder piece to do than I would normally do. This way it's small. But you can clamp it down in a table. And that's screwed to that. Now I'm going to take this piece here. I have. And I'm going to put two screws in this too. I think I can uh, do this one the wide way. This seems a little loose for me. I'm going to turn this down and uh, make sure you have the bit in. I should have used my other drill over here, but I don't know if that battery is worth a darn. All right, here we go. We're going to drill this down here. And this is going to get screwed like this to this. So what I'm going to do with this, the easiest way is put some glue on it. Move this around so it sticks nice. Uh, flush it to the edge here so you really don't need a line. Take your clamp and clamp her like that. Now there you get your clamp on there, it's no big problem. Take a screw. I had one out, I don't know what I did with it, but take this out. Etc. etc. Sorry it's taken me so long to do this, but as usual, stuff happens. Now I take this this screw here and put it right in the hole. And I'll tell you. When that glue dries, there. Now, that's the screws act like a clamp. So there you go. Now all I got to do is, is take this, grab a, a drill bit. Now I got one down here. In my case, I'm going to drag a, I'm going to take a counter sit sink bit, and I got it. I'm going to just take a hole here in the center, and put a counter sink in there, one down the bottom here, like so. You can make this out of a 2x4 or uh, anything, any kind of wood you like if you want to make them nice and exotic looking. I mean, you could, you can make big ones um, out of 2x4s, glue them up, and you can hang a ladder on them, for instance, on a wall. Now, I'm just, just going to screw on a stud, like so, and I got a little hook to hang my hose. Well, thanks for watching uh, Backyard Woodworking, and uh, please subscribe and comment. Hit the like button if you like it, and keep watching. Thank you.